Hey guys, what's up? My name's Catrice, AKA The Coach. I am so excited to bring you this video today. Now, I know you clicked on the video because you were looking for the fast track way to create an aesthetically beautiful and pleasing vision board. When I thought of this the other night, I was actually mind blown as to why I had not been creating my vision boards in this program the whole time. It's so easy. And I use this program for everything. So watch this video and then I need you to get your laptop and take a picture. Show me your vision board because you're going to make one right after this, right? Right. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my screen so that you can see what I see, but we're going to go straight to Canva. Okay, have you heard of Canva before? Chances are very likely that maybe you have. So when you go to Canva, what's gonna end up happening is you're going to end up having to register for the program. So make sure you go ahead and register. Once you get registered, everything, all the work that you do is stored right there. You don't even have to store it on your own computer. It's wonderful. You can do everything here. You can do, um, Facebook post, Instagram post. So if you're into like promoting social media, you can do it here. Um, cards, like business cards, calendars, presentations, worksheets, if you're creating those, like it's endless. You can do everything. So much so that when I had this idea, I was like, okay, fully prepared to go to Google and type in what are the dimensions of a backdrop of a computer? Because I know that I want my particular vision board to go somewhere where I see it all the time. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna put it on my laptop. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to do that. But look, guys, what happened was I just came here and I typed in wall. I didn't even have to finish the word paper and it knew that I was looking for desktop wallpaper. So that's what we're gonna create, desktop wallpaper vision board. Obviously, you can do the phone route, the poster route, the regular route, whatever route you wanna do. But mine, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my backdrop. So when you click anything in Canva, it brings you to a sea of options. Can't even keep up with the amount of options that there are. It's just absolutely crazy. So just take a few minutes, scroll through here, find what suits your fancy, and then go ahead and get to creating from there. Now I know what you're gonna think, cause I'm about to click on this one right here that I don't have no kind of, you know, adventurous spirit, but I really like this one. It spoke to me, so I'm gonna press it. Now, if you've never used Canva before, it is way easy to use. It kind of reminds me of Publisher, um, kind of Google Slides. It's a lot of just click, point, move, drag, drop, and you get things completed and done. So um, I think that, I think this is going to be really easy for you to maneuver. If you want a full tutorial of Canva, let me know. But I think it's going to be relatively simple. I will give you a quick overview. Obviously, you click all the elements in here. It brings up your editing uh, options right here at the top. So for this particular photo, I can change the effects, the filter, the crop. I can flip it. For the backdrop here, it looks like I can put some animation on or I can just click this, change the color. And then, of course, on the text here, I have the option of of C of fonts and I can change the size, the color, you get the drill. So pretty much what we're doing is we're taking elements that we have and we are going back and we're just adding them in and creating something that we love. On the left hand side here, this is where if I were you, I would have everything ready to go. So all of my pictures, which this is not my showing you what's actually on my vision board video. This is just the flash track video, um, but put all those pictures right in here. Um, so that way they're easy to pull in and drag back over. Maybe you just want to use some of the stock photos, which is another great option too. You can just come straight here, put in health, 
fitness, finances, whatever your goals are, just put them in the search category and it'll look for you. Apparently I was looking for a dog. I don't know. I do want a dog someday. So um, I would go through here and actually be very specific on the dog that I want, but there's stock stuff that you can put in here. So you don't have to put photos of yourself, even though I'd recommend it. If you wanna know why I would recommend it, go watch the other video. I'm telling you, a lot of good stuff in that video. The elements category here, it's just like all the little additional bits and pieces. You know, you got lines, um, you have like the clip art kind of thing. You, you guys know what clip art, right? You just go in here and same thing, type in anything, money, houses, cars, whatever it is, and it'll give you like the cute little drawn out version of what you're looking for. Again, it has a mountain, a sea of options for you. And then you have the text option. Same thing here. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Go in and you can change the text, move the words around, but it has done a lot of the hard work for you. I majored in journalism back in college. And one of the things that I had to do was make sure that the layout of whatever you were getting, whether or not it was a newspaper or a magazine or uh, online, looked pleasing to the eye so that you would want to look at it so that you could absorb the information that was in it. Um, so music, it does have some music options. I'm not putting music in there, so we're not going to go over that today. I'm not putting video in there. We're not going to talk about the background much because I'm not doing much on my background. Um, so, and the folders, you can upload lots of different things to your folders as well. But we're going to go ahead and get to vision board -ing. I am going to show you a few things here um, of how I would do this and how I do this the fast way. Then I will speed you through me putting this together. And then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit at the end as well. So first thing I do is take a look at what it is I'm dealing with. And what I'm dealing with is a color that I love but not for this. And a saying that is cute, but I don't want it. And a person that we all know and love, but I don't need that on here either. So I just go ahead and click delete on that. And I will start moving around my elements. In order to move stuff around right now, I'm just left clicking and holding the shift. And then I'm gonna move it over to the left-hand side of the page. Bada bing, bada boom. I've got something a little different. And that's what I like to do when I have something stock. It's really easy and I love that. But I also really like the idea of it being mine. So I usually alter it in some way so that it doesn't look exactly like something else that somebody else could have pulled up from somewhere else. What else I love to do in Canvas because they have so many great options is I like to layer if I can. And so some of the other things that you can go and you can search for is mood boards and you can also search collage, I think. Um, so I already searched out this. If I can click on it. All right, I've searched it, found it. Here we go. Now from here, I'm just going to highlight all of these elements. I really like how they put this particular thing together. Um, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and layer it back in with my vision board. So let's go back to my blank vision board here. And then I'm just going to paste it in. Boom. Can you believe it? Literally at this point, if you wanted to just add your photos in, he would be done. I'm a little bit more extra than that. So that's not how this is gonna go, but if I wanted to be done, I could be done. And that's what I love about this, like boom. I layered two different templates on top of a template and it brought me here. So um, now what I would also do is I would go ahead and add my elements or things that I would want to add into this particular um, vision board. So by doing, by adding a page, I think that makes it easier for me. I don't know about for you, but for me, it makes it easier because now I can just go through and whatever I like, 
I can just add in. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in a bunch of elements that I like. All right, now that I have some of my elements kind of plugged into the bottom here, as you can see, what's really interesting about this process is if I were to continue just adding pictures of mine and moving things around here, I could totally just create a vision board on this bottom section down here. But I'm gonna go back up to the top here um, because I really love what I put together up here and I'm gonna kind of try to quick show you how this can come together in here. Really, it's just a lot of cut, copy, paste, and moving stuff around. Okay, overall, I think I really like what it looks like. There are a few things here and there that I would probably keep messing with. Um, the color of some of the items here, I would probably mess with those a little. Um, maybe change that color, maybe change this color. I'm not really sure. Um, to try to give it some continuity everywhere. But overall, I really just like where everything is placed. Now is the time that I can go in and I put my photos in. So there were a couple of photos that I did have at the bottom of this page. And sorry, distracted. There were some photos that I had at the bottom of this page. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to place some of those in here. Um, I do want to have this dog someday and I do love gardening and that looks like just a very traditional picture. I will say that you'll notice that there's a watermark on here. So when I go to download this, I'll either have to pay for this particular picture um, or I just need to go find a picture of my own and upload, which is probably what I would do. Um, but there is a way around it. You got the free version, you got the paid version, or you can pay for a couple of pictures here and there. This is where things go super, super fast, like really fast. If you have your pictures all ready to go, all you have to do from here is drag and drop and put them in. So, uh, I'm going to go to my uploads here. The uploads that I have in here aren't necessarily my vision board photos, but I just wanted to put them in here just so you can kind of see the transformation. Um, I think it's a little bit easier to see it kind of transform. So um, here's a person on a mountain. So I'm going to put my person on a mountain. <laughs> um, I think it's important to put a picture of yourself in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my photo in there. Um, here are some flowers that I've grown in my garden. We'll drop those in there. This is um, on the Mesa, which who doesn't love the Mesa? More flowers from my garden. Let's just move that over there. Um, this picture is my favorite picture of all time that I've taken. So I'm gonna add that in travels with me everywhere. I just really like owls right now. So no reason, um, probably wouldn't necessarily make a vision board unless I was planning on trying to have a pet owl, which could be cool. <laughs> um, what else? What other pictures did I not change out? Let's change out this one. That still says Canva. Oh, that one still says Canva also. 
So we'll just put in this photo, that's mine. And then, am I missing any? Oh, one, one more. Let's see, probably two more. Let's put in this one right here. Overall, I'll stop messing with stuff because I could mess with stuff all day. Um, but this is what we've come up with in a very short amount of time. And I think it has all the elements that it needs. It's got, you know, the quotes on it, something that's going to pull your eye to it. It looks very well put together and just for minimal effort. And the double, double, the bonus double, like I can download this and save it to, or add it as a wallpaper to my laptop, then I can see it every day. Then I can chase my dreams every day. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Tell me what you think. Have you used Canva before? And have you used it to make a vision board? And will you use it to make a vision board? And I think that's it. That's all. You guys know I hate saying goodbye, but you're going to come back, right? All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. It'll let you know when I'm here so that you and I can continue to be friends and hang out. So hit that subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.